Hello everyone, I am Hardik Patel and in this video I am going to teach you about the decorator design pattern in Python. So what is decorator design pattern? So it's a software design pattern that allows us to dynamically add functionality to the classes or methods without creating any subclasses and affecting the behavior of our other objects of the same class. So this can be useful uh, for adding logging, caching or other functionalities to the objects. Okay, so what is decorator then? So decorator is nothing but a function that takes another function as an input and returns a new function that has the same functionality as the original function but also having with some additional functionality inside that. So for example, we want to create a decorator that logs the execution type of a function. So let's take an example and we will write in the code so you will be able to understand properly. Okay, so what we want to so what we want to create here i will write here decorator for logging execution original function okay so first we will write a decorator here so how we can write the decorator so first we have to write a function of that so the decorator function name is what we can say here log execution time okay and inside that what we will take function so i am taking function as an argument Okay, and I will return that, but if I return that, then it is not going to add any functionality into the function. But we want to add a few more functionality on top of that function, right? So what we will do here, we will create one another function called wrapper. You can call it anything, but generally we call it a wrapper function. Now this wrapper function will always take the same argument which this a uh, function gives the argument takes the argument okay so what we will do here instead of uh, writing specific arguments because we want to make this function as generic so we write it args and then keyword arguments okay so both the arguments we are going to take as an argument in this and if we call this function like this function args and kwx and whatever result we get of that function if we return back so this function will exactly act like the original function okay so now as you can see here what we are taking the original function on top of that we have added this uh, decorator right so once the decorator is taken inside as an input what we are doing here we are returning a different function that is not original function but that function also executes the same functionality right so what we have done here that is we are calling the original function from that wrapper function and returning the results but now what we can do further here that is we can add a few more functionality here you can either add statements here or here anything suppose you want to have some permission check uh, decorator then what you will do you will check here all the permissions and if permission is available then you will call this function otherwise you can return something else right so now in our case we want to execute a time so what we need is we need some timestamp so we will import time module and we will log the start first start is equal to time dot time and then we after call this function we will log the end now we have uh, both the timestamp uh, one before the executing original function and the second one is after executing the original function now we just will print here that the execution time of uh, i mean original function how we can get the function name so probably you might know that function dot underscore underscore name so that means whenever you call object dot underscore underscore name it will give you the name of the function okay but you cannot use curly braces if you are not mentioning f because that works only in f string right so after doing this uh, the execution time of function name was again we will use curly braces and minus start okay and these are this is going to give us seconds okay now let me give the spaces here yeah so now we are logging this uh, time uh, of of this function's execution time right and how we can use this decoder now so before that i will write another function called something 
cook recipe okay and i will take the name of recipe here and uh, how much time this uh, cook recipe functions take we will log using this decoder function but before that i would like to show you without adding this uh, decorator how it function going to execute okay so i will use time dot sleep because we are just going to add print statement and i will just wait for 2 seconds and then we'll print the name so what i will do cooked and name okay and i will use app string now if you call this function cook recipe and then you'll say noodles it will take 2 seconds and will print this okay let me execute this function now okay as you can see it took 2 seconds but we don't know how much time it took now how we can check so it's very simple just just use the decorator function like this log execution time and once you do that automatically this function will take care of here automatically let me show you so as you can see cooked noodles right this function was called first because we log the time of starting point and then call this function so it is done and then again we logged end time and we printed the statement so it is it took two seconds but also took some time in print statement as well so that is very in milliseconds okay now if you want to see in uh, debug mode we can show you that debug python file and okay we have to put some first yeah here it is okay so now again i will run it in debug mode so as you can see we have stopped here and now i would like to go inside the function so if i go step into this function it will take me to this wrapper function directly because this cook recipe function is automatically changed to this wrapper function because of this decorator and now the start time will be uh, taken care then actual function will be called now if i go inside this function then it will come to this place look at this right so this is how this decorator takes over now if i go further it will take for two seconds and then print statement and then again and and then print the execution time of this and whatever results uh, it is written by this cook recipe function here that will be written to us here as well right so that is how you can implement decorator okay so decorators can also be used to simplify the code of program as you can see we simplified this right instead of uh, complicating this original function we did something separate and it is now very clear i hope uh, you found this video helpful and uh, if you have liked this video please hit the like button and definitely please subscribe so because i am working on a lot of uh, other uh, tutorials coming up so thank you very much uh, for watching this video and see you soon in the next one